For me, this constant movement towards making things better in life, being fueled by technology, is what gets my mind going every day. I have always been somebody who loves to solve problems and who loves to critically look at the world in ways of how you can improve it. And my path towards technology happened very early on when I was exposed to technology in college. And through that process and understanding the power of technology when it's infused with business problems um, is what made me continue to pursue that in my career. Technology's changing and it changes every day. And so for me to wake up in the morning and to understand what's happened the night before and markets around the globe and who's disrupting something that we take for granted at times, whether it's digitizing money, whether it's how people save, whether it's how you commute. And so for me, I think technology is the core of what is changing the world. Um, and to be part of that is pretty exciting. I could see a world where financial services and banking isn't a, an event, something you have to go do. It's a moment that happens while you're doing something else, that our relationships with our customers will show up when they need us to show up. So if I'm picking up my kids from school and it dawns on me that I forgot to send somebody money, I can quickly do that, whether it's with a text, whether it's a voice command, whether it's opening up an app. But how do we service our customers in those moments that they want to be serviced is going to be critical and you almost start to wonder if banking becomes invisible and it becomes a new paradigm and a brand like Cities that has the heritage, the tradition and has the trust will end up enduring post these kind of ups and downs and volatilities of new technologies and, and new companies because at the core of this it is about trust. When you go about your day-to-day -day life, you're using new tools all the time. You're using different apps, you're using different P2P providers, you're using different ways to manage your life in this world of constantly connected chaos. And, but yet when you come to work, you're not given permission to use those same tools that make you more productive. And so part of this change agenda has also been around what are the new tools we need to bring in place and how do we do that where we still protect our enterprise and information security is comfortable with it and we're not exposing things that we shouldn't, but not to just rest on the rules that used to exist. How do we evolve those rules to also adopt new tools? I will say that part of change and part of I think achieving your aspirations is about taking some risk. And there have been numerous times in the last year where I took massive risk in around not putting the company at risk, but take trying a new tool, building that business case. Something that we brought in a year ago is now used throughout all the digital properties and teams. But it was that first step in how do we do this better? And having the courage, I think, to speak out and to make it happen and to take a little bit of a risk is where change truly comes from. When I look back on my career, the succession of steps and choices that I made seem to all add up to me sitting here today. That being the case, it wasn't calculated. What was calculated for me was what did I want to learn? What was I passionate about? that if nothing else came out of the endeavor, the role that I took, whether it was moving in between different functions at one company or moving companies, if I was able to walk away with personal learnings and being a better leader, like that was invaluable. And I share that because my advice to anybody coming out of college is don't go after the things that seem the most important. Go after the things that really fuel your curiosity, that fuel your purpose, that talks to who you are because you will be the better leader 